Bethany Moda is with us. She is a YouTube fashion and beauty sensation. And when I say sensation, I mean it. She has a fan, bra a fan base greater than, listen now, Vogue, Elle, Marie Claire, Glamour, and Cosmopolitan combined. She's been at it for five years. She started when she's 13. I'm doing the math. Carry the one, do the thing. You're 18 mm -hmm. now. Yep, you got it. I got that you right. You got that. Welcome, Bethany. It's good Thank to have you. you with us. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. All right, so you have over 6 million YouTube subscribers. And what inspired you to film your fashion and beauty advice and put it on, put it on YouTube? Well, at the time, I was experiencing some bullying. And, you know, I was being picked on a little bit. And it was by people that I knew, so it kind of hurt a little bit more than just someone who was anonymous. Mm. Um, so I kind of closed up a little bit and then I just went online and I started watching all these YouTube videos and it was kind of like a really great distraction for me and it kind of got my mind off of things. And then after like a month or two, I decided I want to do this myself. So I posted a video. I didn't have, you know, any equipment, any like special devices or anything. I used my parents' old video camera that what I got out post? of the closet. Yeah. Um, I started with a beauty video. So it was basically what they call a haul. So I got some cool products at the mall, and then I just went home and, and, talked, and, and talked, talked about, about it. it. Wow. Yeah. Now you have a fashion line, which yes. is called? It is titled my name, Bethany Moda, but it's sold at Arable Stall in stores okay. and online. All right, now, Growing how fast. much uh, influence do your fans have on you when you're doing anything? Do they give you ideas or suggestions? So much, so much. Like, in my videos, I always go to my viewers for ideas because, I mean, obviously, they're the ones watching my videos, so right. I want to put out what they want to see. And also fashion. Like, for my clothing line, they'll always send me pictures on Twitter and Instagram and be like, which outfit should I wear? Or this was my outfit today. And they constantly inspire me for everything that I do creatively. Are you going to talk about what inspired you today here at Hallmark? for the trends for Christmas? Yes, yeah. well, I mean, we get so many, you know, Christmas cards, and we have so many Christmas photos, and we always need somewhere to put them. Like, I know growing up, we always put them on the fridge with magnets. Right. So I came up with this. Um, last year, I saw something like this online, and I kind of put my own twist on it. And Did we, it, by the way, not to interrupt you, but did we get a good, clear picture of what we're making, or Bethany's making for us today? It it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, oh, week. that's our end product. Nice. That is okay. our goal. And I love that. To lead you down that road to make that. <laughs> All right, so what tools do we may, uh, need to start making this Christmas wreath? So one of the biggest essentials is clothespins, which most people have, which is really nice. And then this little wooden um, circle disc thing, I got this at a craft store. Um, at first I thought these were going to be really hard to find, but they're actually pretty easy to find. And then you just need some green paint. Now I went with different colors of green to add a little bit of dimension, but you could also go with any color. I mean, if you mm -hmm. want it to be purple, it could be purple. But because we're being festive, it's green, <laughs> okay. and you're also going to need some paint brushes and some hot glue and then anything that you want to add so it could be like decorations ribbons and then obviously your Christmas cards and photos fabulous Wonderful. okay so how do we get started with this? so well I started by taking a clothespin and then mm -hmm. I just painted them green as you can tell I have my little bowl of do you have to go ones. with green I mean is that your recommendation or go with other colors? no you could go with any color like mm -hmm. when I saw one it was just solid color mm -hmm. and then the first one that I ever made was all just one color green and then I thought it'd be fun to switch up the greens. And yeah, get a little I like the contrast between yeah, the two. Exactly. It almost gives it shading. I think you make red, red, white, and blue for, you know, for, for oh, that would be till good. 4th of July, yeah, yeah, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Let's try to stay in one okay. holiday at okay. the time. <laughs> All right, okay? so we're doing Christmas. I'm getting confused Okay, here. so how do we put these on? So once they're painted, you obviously want to allow them to dry. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to take one at a time. you got to open them because sometimes when you paint them, they can get a little stuck. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to get your hot glue. Just apply a little bit of glue. And then you're just going to place it right there. Now I notice you're okay. doing with the opening on the outside. Yes, you want the opening on the outside, unless you want to put your pictures in. Inside. inside. We're going to run out okay, of space. Okay, you know, <laughs> that too. Okay. It's a little more difficult. Okay. Okay. We have a pre-tape of you doing some of this stuff. Let's take a look. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's take okay. us through this, Take us Bethany. through your painting, your clothespin. So I'm painting the clothespin. And you're just going to paint them whatever color, obviously. And then once they are completely dried, you're going to apply a little hot glue and then just place it onto your wooden circle. And you're obviously going to complete that step until you've covered the entire thing. You put them really close side by side. You could space them if you wanted to. Yeah, you could space mm -hmm. them. I personally like the fuller look, but you can go with whatever you want. I know if the, if Christina was making this, she'd want to somewhere put Swarovski crystals on that. Oh, oh for she sure. That is my mom. That is my mom she, in a nutshell. Oh, oh, my gosh. There you go. Now there you have go. a new best friend. I know. I have a new bestie. Yeah. <laughs> that is a really good idea. I should have done that. Yeah. 
Well, hey, look at me. <laughs> yeah, hey, look Maybe at I'll you. Maybe I'll have my own YouTube channel. You've been so. hanging out with me Maybe. too long, that's why. <laughs> okay, Fantastic, all right. and then it's all set to go. So, uh, other accoutrement that you could add on to this? I see you can, ribbon. We had ribbon. There's also, you know, any decorations that you could find at a craft store, or maybe you already have some. You can just glue them on. Just like oh, that. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Super cute. And then obviously, so we need yeah, like little little pictures. Oh my goodness, look, oh, look at that. Christmas Christmas up. cards. Like how okay. cute. There's our dear oh, Sophie. Yeah, and There's you can put so your cards. Oh, this is great. Look yeah, at there. So you just kind of open oh. it. Put it in. Boom. We love your ideas. Thank and we'd you. We'd love to have you come back to show us some more things that yeah. you do. Yes. We really love your, your inspiration and what you do. This is great. Thank you so much. If you would like to learn so much more about Bethany or some of her projects, you can uh, get started by visiting her lifestyle channel, Bethany Mota at YouTube.